Welcome to the first Barefoot in the Kitchen series with Longevity magazine. I'm absolutely delighted to have with me in the kitchen today, Paul Atkinson. He is one of the co-authors of this beautiful book called Plentiful. It's actually based on dishes that Paul prepared at the Buddhist Retreat Center, which is in KwaZulu Natal. So again, a lot of people believe that eating healthy is very expensive. You can't find all these ingredients. There must be some special things that you have to get at special stores. But you and I both know that you shopped at the local spa for all this mm -hmm. food, right? Mm -hmm. But again, I mean, how do we how do we bust that myth? I mean, what is your experience being made all these beautiful dishes, mm -hmm. and you're going to make many more? Mm -hmm. Well, um, that was actually a big um, thing for me writing this book. I thought I, I didn't want to kind of get all these obscure ingredients from far-flung destinations. Everything that's in that book is available in Spiny Copo. And like I've said to many people, if it's available there, it's available anywhere. The only thing that they yeah, don't well, have our, our a capers, is much bigger. Yeah, <laughs> it is, it's, it's quite yeah. sublime. Um, but yeah, the, everything in that is, is very sort of easy to get and, and uh, yeah, not nothing too obscure. And very affordable. Mm -hmm, exactly, Great. yeah. Okay, so with us today as well is Jessica, and she is a dietitian, a qualified dietitian. And this is really important because when we eat food, it's really important again to be that we're going to eat plentiful and we're going to have a really great time. But it's really important that we eat the right food. Absolutely. So I think wonderful. Looking forward to the cook off. Thank My you goodness. very much. We'll start. So, I'm oh, sorry, I got a bit ahead of myself and I've kind of put everything into the bowl. Basically, what, what we've got equal there? quantities of red and white cabbage, got a couple of carrots grated, some celery is nicely, finely chopped, a mm, bunch of spring onions, they've gone in as well. The dressing really is the kind of key for this thing, uh, and you start that kind of way before you make this thing because you want it to cool down. As soon as you start sticking sort of hot stuff on, on veggies, they sort of start wilting and giving up yeah. and kind of, I can't cope with this. So, yeah, I in the dressing. That. The dressing here, we have simmered together. There's peanut if I've oil. If I've got a peanut allergy, then I can't have this. Well, then you could use canola oil or sunflower oil. Canola oil is a great option. Um, it's very similar to your olive oil, but it's actually cheaper and it even has a slightly higher smoking point when you cook okay. it. So in terms of affordability, you actually should cook majority with your canola oil and then use your olive oil more as a, a cold oil, so mm -hmm. you're using it in dressings mm -hmm. and things like that. But why is that? Is that the point at which things heat up, the chemically modify and that's when yeah. it gets unhealthy? Absolutely. There, there is some changes when it gets to a specific point, which is a smoking point, and it's different temperatures for different oils. And it is literally just when the oil starts to smoke and then there can be potentially some harmful uh, chemicals that then Okay, so... So we can leave out, if you've got a peanut allergy, you we certainly leave can leave out the peanut oil, but the peanut oil is making it smell beautiful. No, that is probably the rice wine vinegar you can smell. Rice wine vinegar. Rice wine vinegar. <laughs> so we, that's why he's the chef and we not. Exactly. <laughs> the rice wine vinegar uh, and some uh, light, light salt um, soy sauce, okay. ginger and garlic. With ginger as well. Ginger oh, and wow. garlic. So that is pretty much ready to be put together. We'll leave them aside. Okay. Um, for now, so wait until that cools down and then we'll mixy mixy and Perfect. serve it later. I'm going to top it with some, with some sesame seeds and probably some to toasted almonds as well. I'm just going to dry fry um, some of these almonds. Right. And what else we're going to do is put on a few more sesame seeds with our dressing. And then the fun part comes where you can get your hands involved and get everything nice and coated.
So, this enlightened beans dish is super easy. You're just going to dry fry them, and you'll see they'll kind of get all these little black char marks, and they can do their own thing. So we can hear things happening there. There are some color, there's some color spots. So what we want to do is add in some, all this lovely goodness. Oh. Olive oil, and that's one layer. And we just keep doing this and build it up, slowly, slowly, and it's, so there we go. 